Could there be a link between autism and children and a syndrome found in newborn horses? Scientists at UC Davis think so, and they've started a groundbreaking new study to look into the link. New at 5, CBS 13's Marianne McClary explains why it's high risk, but could lead to a high reward. Nine-day-old Ivy is acting like a fool should, but that wasn't the case shortly after she was born. We could, you know, pull her away from the mare, and she will be not really seeking for the mare. That's not normal. A normal fall should get up, go and nurse, play like a fall, but always be attached to the mare. Ivy had what's called maladjustment syndrome. It's detachment from the mother, not knowing how to suckle or even lay down on its own. It was long thought the condition was caused by oxygen deprivation during birth. But UC Davis doctors Monica Aleman and John Madigan now think it's something else. We started measuring some of the hormones that keep the foal asleep in utero so they don't gallop around we found they're significantly elevated in these foals that wander around that are maladjusted. Many maladjusted foals are born via cesarean section or have faster than normal births. The doctors think the babies may have needed that 20 to 40 minutes of getting squeezed in the birth canal. Aliman and Madigan recently experimented and found they can get maladjusted foals to wake up by mimicking that squeeze with a rope harness. We've done about 12 now where we've had the same response. Now it's our job as scientists to do clinical studies and randomize it. Taking it a step further, Madigan and Aleman noticed the detachment in maladjusted foals is similar to that in children with autism. They took their findings about the hormones, which are called neurosteroids, to Dr. Isaac Pacep, a toxicologist. They came to me and showed me the videos and said, you know, we think we have a link to neurosteroids. Is this at all relevant to autism? And that got my attention. One overseas study has linked the hormones to autism in children. We want to see if what we find in the foal maps on to children that we have in our epidemiological studies for which we've already collected samples. All the UC Davis research is in the beginning stages, and the researchers are careful about making leaps of faith. But no doubt, scientists with human and animal interests will be awaiting those results. You have an idea that could really change an entire concept about a very important disorder in foals and then the possibility in humans well it doesn't get any better <laughs> very interesting isn't it and dr madigan tells mm -hmm. us before he discovered this squeeze technique maladjusted foals needed round-the-clock care including bottle feeding and help laying down and getting up so the harness squeeze it takes about 20 minutes and most foals will wake up within a few minutes after that i mean they're just doing wow.